Hello, welcome to this video. Today I wanted to do a one month recap on trading the strategy so far. And if you've watched the other videos, you've seen some of the positions I've had on. Most recently, I've added the euro to the mix. It broke out uh, it broke out on Friday, so 2 days ago. And it's it's currently in profit. And so anyways, back to the overall recap. If we look at uh, the positions now, um, we started with with these three, copper, bonds, and sugar. We also had natural gas, which I dropped earlier on. So far, one of the things that I've really noticed is that really you really don't know what's going to be working um, as a trade. At one point, copper was up about $150 and it was uh, about equivalent with bonds they were both about 150 and then I think a, a few days later both of them were were down then bonds came back and, and is now kind of double the profit of copper sugar has kind of been trailing around it was up for a while and now it's back down it looks like there's a decent chance it's gonna get stopped out um, at the same time, you know, its losses is fairly small right now, while bonds has continued its its um, its decline. Copper, you can see, it had its move up, it's retraced, and now it's kind of inching up again. So that's the one thing I've picked up so far that you really don't know what's going to be working, and I guess. You know, you really shouldn't count profits too early. Right now, the account is up about $300, but stops haven't moved at all. So in essence, you know, all of that profit is is just paper profit and could turn around, you know, at any point. And that leads me to the second thing, which is I guess you can really watch your, your profits or losses swing fairly, fairly large. I mean that's obviously relative and this this is a small a small account I can only imagine on a larger account I mean watching larger dollar swings are going to be much more difficult the next thing I notice is that there's not really that much to do each day I mean as you click through the charts you see this is a uh, the euro trade I saw shaping up and you kind of see potential trades shaping up in advance I'm following the 55 day and uh, as you can see when the market's kind of going into a sideways you kind of see well it's inching towards the lower channel and you can kind of anticipate when a trade will set up besides that you'll see that most markets are either triggered or have triggered in the past and there's nothing else to do at this point um, I saw gold shaping up, but if you saw the other video, gold was just not uh, something I could trade with such a small account, and it has continued in its direction. And the rest of these markets have all been looked at in the past, and there's nothing shaping up at this point in time. And so beyond that, you really just need to monitor the stops. See, uh, copper's getting close to uh, the point where we're going to raise the the trailing stop um, same with bonds and at this point sugar has just reached a point where we can raise the stop and so that's a very interesting thing as well you can seemingly follow quite a few markets with this method because it's very objective there's no there's no analysis that really needs to be done aside from watching how price is reacting and when it gets close to either the high or the low of the channel to set trades with the the euro trade I literally saw it shaping up and placed uh, a series of entry stop uh, entry stop orders um, as it as it shaped up and all of these positions were triggered uh, within a day I think all of the positions are in. Let's actually take a look. Yeah, so all of the 
Actually, no, I've only got two of the Euro orders in. I did have them set with expiries, so I should actually probably look to see if I should be entering more positions. But aside from that, there's there's just monitoring the trades after that, which is really just watching for the stops themselves uh, to be moved. So that's the one month recap. I think the, the thing is so far there have been no real major challenges from putting the trades on in in early February none of the trades or the account has not been in drawdown or has not been less than the initial starting point of uh, uh, 1950 I say 2000 just to round it up but it started at 1950 and so far as of today it's up three hundred dollars so We'll uh, report back on how things go.